Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Emery here, and I have a haul video for you guys. I, now, this is Lego and Diecast. So I'll do the Lego first, so all you guys who just are into Lego can uh, check out after that if you want. If you don't know, Walmart has been doing, like, kind of like its final clearance before, you know, it's getting all the new inventory in for Christmas or whatnot. But I went around, I did find some good deals, but mainly what I found was a lot of scraps. And you'll know what I'm saying when I, when I talk about this. I will tell you about a week ago, I went looking. Uh, BrickSeek has sent me on some uh, adventures where I really didn't find nothing, which is kind of disappointing. I went looking for some of those uh, fun pack, you know, the people builders, the, the fair set. I think it, was, it said there was like a whole bunch of them somewhere for like 10 bucks. I went there, there was nothing. Not, you know, I even had somebody scan it in the store, the barcode, and they were like, oh, it says we have five of them. They couldn't find it. So I don't know if somebody just bought it or what, or hid it. Uh, the first thing I have is this, this uh, Ninjago. This was $4.50. I'm not real sure what it parts out for. It only got one. That's what I'm saying when I say I got scraps. I got a bunch of uh, one and two. Let me see. I did, I've already started parting this out, so I guess I got the instructions. But this one right here. Uh, I found one of these for eight and then two for five. So I think it parts out for like 30. I, I can't remember, but I know five was a really good deal. So I got three of those. They're already in my store and I'm, uh, you know, putting it away right now. Maybe I'll take you out the tripod and move you over here. My tripod broke, so that's why I don't really want to move it. Here's some of the die caps. We'll get to that in a second. I also do want to tell you guys, all you other uh, sellers out there, I keep looking at myself, but I, I, I need to look at the camera. So I'm trying to remember to look at the camera. So, <laughs> But Walmart has got these baggies. You know, this is what I use. I do, I know before you guys say anything, I do save all the empty plastic bags. And I try to use all that. I have boxes of that stuff that I, I use. But I do like these baggies. And... These are normally like these bigger bags. I think they're like two bucks. They're on clearance for 50 cents. And even the bigger ones, like, I don't know if I have any in here. And, uh, you can't really find the smaller ones. This is basically the ones I found a bunch of for 50 cents. So I got like three bags of those. So I should be good to go on baggies for years, as far as I'm concerned. I don't think I'm going to need any baggies. This was probably one of the better. Check this out. This is, I mean, this is obviously the bomb. I'm going to do a thumbnail right here. But, uh, yeah, check that out. $25. $25. And I got two of them. Two of them bad boys. Here. Thumbnail. Ah. But, yeah, two of those... For 25 bucks. I, I don't remember. It says was $99.95. Which, you know, this was sitting at a Walmart uh, that I had seen it there for a while for 75 And I even asked the lady, hey, when, when are you going to clearance those down? And I think I was there like the day before they clearance them down. But I saw somebody on Instagram say they got these. So I went on BrickSeek. I put in, you know, I looked for the set. Boom. Two of them there for $25. So I told my wife I gotta go you know it was about a 45 minute drive I said I gotta go somebody's gonna be on that quick and at that same Walmart I figured there'd be some more clearance there uh, let me see I think it's these there I got this one I got two of these I think yeah two of these city sets for seven dollars a piece so you know, this one says 20 on it. It says it was originally 30 $30? Is it 93 pieces? This is what I'm talking about. I, I, you know, I, I didn't really make a video, but I posted about the new city, town, square set or whatever. That's like $200. It's a ripoff. This, I mean, I get it. It's got the little play feature. But $30? You know, for... the. Okay, maybe 20. Maybe 20. Just because of the bigger pieces. But this was 30, and I got each one for 70. I think it parts out for like 35. So, 7's really good. 
and this this was seven two. You know, it's another case where it still said twenty one, but when I went and scanned it, it was uh, seven dollars. So there was only one of these. This is what I'm talking about. Just scraps. It's going to be kind of a pain to just part one out, but you know what? It'll get me more pieces uh, into the uh, into the Bricklink store. Let me see. Now, this was a, I just picked this up this morning at my local Walmart. I went there because uh, BrickSeek said that there was some of those Spaceman poly bags on clearance for a dollar. And they said there was a bunch of them there. So I went there, guess what? Nothing. So you might look for those because that part's out for six. But a while back, they had like probably 20 of these full price over in the clearance section. So I passed on them, obviously. I mean, come on. And uh, today, they were, they were all gone, so I figured, oh, yep, they got marked down. But the, in the Lego aisle, there was one way up at the top, you know, so I pulled it down, went and scanned it, $13. I think it parts out for, like, 86 so 13 bucks. Give me some nice, uh, unique pieces. I think these are printed. Yeah, I'm sure it is. That can't be a sticker. I'm sure the uh, this is a sticker right here, probably, but that's got to be printed. So that that's that's sweet. I wish I got more than one, obviously. But now this one, uh, this is another one of those times where Brick Seek sent me to this uh, store for something, and there was nothing there. But what they did have was two of these, and I'm pretty sure I already parted out some of these before. Which I think somebody came in and bought like all this trans blue deer. Uh, so this is a good one. This these actually were four dollars a piece, and I think it parts out for like thirty six. So I got two of those, four dollars a piece, at that same Walmart. This was like kind of tucked away, like somebody just set these off to the side. This one, let me grab it. This one here. You kind of have to really walk around and look at the whole toy section, the whole clearance section, up and down, look multiple times because you miss something. Uh, this was over there. This was, I think, four fifty. Parts out for twenty two. Uh, it must be all printed pieces. I don't really see, in my mind, I don't see twenty two dollars worth of uh, stuff there. But no, I, I got it. That's what it says. For, so I got that for four. This one was five. Now I got some of these a while back, probably like five or six of them, and I think I paid like nine for them, which was good. But this at five, I'm I'm happy to add that to the store. That's got a lot of nice uh, printed. You know, you get the printed one by one brick. You get you get this net. That's a good piece right there. You got a lot of nice pieces in that. Let me see what else. <clears throat> Let me look real quick. I think there was something something else I was thinking. Oh, I think that I think that's it for the Lego. And now I will share some of the die cast with you guys. So if you want to stay around for that, you can. I will show you uh, some some pretty cool stuff I found. Here we go. I got... I did find some more. I, I've been kind of collecting these uh, Dotsons. This was at a Dollar General. They had a few of these. Oh, this was at Walmart. The, the one that had those uh, Jurassic Park sets. I'm not, you know, into these uh, action hero cars, but 50 cents. It's got rubber tires, metal base. I figure if anything, I can, you know, do a wheel swap, base swap on something maybe one day. Now, I did pick up some of these mystery, uh, these are like a dollar. If you don't know, these, when you flip this, this tab up, it has a number there. So this one is five. I think, right? No, this is number two. This is backwards from what I'm seeing. So that's how you can see what you're getting here. They're all numbered. You know, the, the best one's number one. There's like less of those. One, two, three. So basically the, the best ones are one, two, and three, which is right there. I know it's not focusing for you guys, but that's how you see what there is. A little easier than filling minifig packs because you can't fill... If you can fill a car... And, and know what it is. That'd be pretty amazing. I mean, you can feel the spoiler on this. But this, like I said, this is number two, which is the Acura NSX, which that looks pretty sweet. I do like that. I know it's not focused for you, but 
you know, follow me on Instagram. I'll post on there. I did find a treasure hunt. This is from the uh, H case. This uh, Camaro. And it does have the symbol right there, like the flames, to tell you you found the treasure hunt. And it says it down there below, but you can't really see it in this light. Picked up another Ninja Turtle. I don't know why. I just, uh, I did. Picked up, uh, there was some Zamax at that Walmart. Now they, I think in this series of Zamax, there's three. I got, they only had these two. The other one is like, uh... I think like a Corvette convertible uh, so I, I didn't find that one picked up uh, this Toyota Tundra which has got the uh, canceled Olympics on it here's another one of these mystery packs this is number three which is supposed to be the Ford GT let's see, let's see what it is yep so there's number three the Ford GT I know this is terrible but I might do uh, if I think about it I might do some pictures and put them in here for you so you get a better picture of what I'm seeing uh, the rest of this is a lot of Dotsons I actually bought a few to uh, list on eBay so I got those there some some more here and let's see, the, the, the other main thing that I want to show you is back here I found these at a uh, Walmart when I was looking for, you know, obviously uh, looking for the Lego deals. This is an M2 Chase. See, it says uh, one out of 750. You can kind of tell because it's got the gold wheels. And there's a local collect. Uh, you know, as, as cool as that is, I'm probably going to keep that. And then here is a Coca-Cola uh, with the Dotson truck. And they see that says one out of 750 pieces. So and it's got the the chrome wheels too, the red wheels. I think the, the normal ones is black wheels. Kind of give you something to look for when you're looking for chases. But there's a local collector. Uh, I just, you know, ran into him at Hobby Lobby and just started talking to him. And uh, he gave me his number and said if I came across any chases or super treasure hunts, you know, he might be interested in them. So... I'll probably reach out to him and uh, see if we can't work out a trade or if he wants to buy those because to be honest with you, selling on eBay Hot Wheels, unless it's really, you know, valuable, it's just not worth your time, you know. You, you, you buy $20 worth of cars, sell them for, you know, 30 or 50 spend 10 to mail them, you pay the fees, pay PayPal fees, and then maybe they're not happy, and now they want their money back. I mean, I haven't had that happen yet, but it will. Trust me, it will. Or they'll say they didn't get it. You know, it's just, if you can find somebody locally to sell it to them cheaper, you know, I think this sells on eBay. I think I paid 17 for it. I think I watched one last night sell for, like, 32 plus 10 shipping. So, 42 bucks. Well, if I can just sell it to this person locally for 30 or trade it i'm happy with that you know i make a little bit of money he gets what he wants and we're all happy we don't have to pay ebay fees so we'll see but that's that's it you guys let me know if you guys found any uh thing out in your hunting uh, i gotta say the best i wish i, I wish i could have got more of this bad boy right here but i'm happy i got two i'd rather do two than one especially that big of a set that I might even look online to try to see if I can't find one on eBay or Amazon. It's like you know, not not obviously you can find one for twenty five, but if I can find one a little cheaper, I can make three to part out. So, all right, guys, that will do it for this video. It's like fifteen minutes. We'll cut it off before it gets to that point. Let me know what you found. See you in the next one. Bye.